Hi there, I'm Mike, and what I have for you today is a Masters of the Universe Skeletor build. I got this in the most previous loot crate. It's Kubros from Mega Bloks. Uh, these have been out for a while. I know my friend Chris or Six Shot Perry. Uh, he's done this. Um, he bought it, you know, just from buying it. I haven't done any of these. I was at Walmart today and Lego has things very close to this, very similar, but I'm pretty sure that those came out after this. There's some of the other figures in the line that you can get. I would not have minded getting a He-Man, but I think Skeletor is a little cooler. It's a cool picture of Skeletor there. Yeah, I mean, I already kind of opened it, but I, I decided to do it on camera here. I don't really know why. I just wanted to do something more fun for the channel. Looks like we've got a little instruction manual here. Got a bunch of bags. Well, inside here is pretty cool. Just a bunch of different stuff. Just kind of put that right there. Let's see what we have here. Lots of bags. They're not numbered. I know Lego usually numbers their bags so you can tell like, hey, which one's which. Otherwise, what's the point of separating them all into bags, right? Ah, uh, let's see here. Step one. Look at all these things. I guess we're starting, I don't know how long this is gonna take, but you know. I don't know. Let's get these out. Just get, let's get everything out. Just get everything open. Why not? Why not? Get all the little crumbs out of there. Okay, one last one here. Oh, and okay. Come on, get open. There it goes. Okay. And then there's a little mini bag with mini stuff. So I'm just gonna leave that over here. These are our first steps. So we need two of these four by twos, one three by one, which is that one, two one by ones. Okay, so we take these two, oh, let's move everything back here. We take these two bad boys, we put this bad boy in between, then we take, oh, where did my, there it is. Take this here, we put that right there, and then these, Go like this. Next, need two of these little flat two by ones. Two of these with the little things coming out the front here. Some of these. Now I'm building Skeletor. If you don't know who that is, I'm actually quite curious as to why you're watching this. Maybe you just like my stuff. I and mean, if that's the case, you know, cool. Thank you. Let's see, this goes here, this goes here, and then this flat one goes here. Um, Skeletor is the bad guy. One of the bad guys, I should say, like the main bad guy, kind of, in Masters of the Universe. He is He-Man's like main villain, but there are tons of other villains, but he's the leader of most of them, except for there's like a villain above him called Hordak. Let's see, and this goes like this. So Hordak is kind of Skeletor's boss, but you know, that, didn't come to like way later. For like the longest time, Skeletor was the big bad guy. He was the big one. Not much is really known about Skeletor, other than he's a bad guy and you know, he fights He-Man and whatnot. But I know in the 2002 series, I, I liked that series a lot. And one of the cool things you find out is that he, uh, Skeletor was originally called Randor, which is an 
kind of a boring sounding name. And uh, he's actually the brother of the king. He's actually the older brother of the king, the previous king. And the the previous king, don't remember his name, they started with an M. But he saw that like, he saw that Keldor was soups evil and decided that he was gonna make Randor, his younger son, king. Any one of these. I'm missing two of the thicker ones. Keldor didn't really like that. He's a little miffed that uh, his younger brother got to be king. Here we go. There's one, I need one more. I would say maybe rightfully so. Like I'd be pretty, pretty mad if I was expecting to be king and then my younger brother got to be king instead of me. So he kind of uh, learned the dark arts and basically he attacked his brother. He was losing so he threw a, like a thing of acid at his brother uh, Randor who deflected it back at him and it hit him in the face. So he got a face full of acid and, uh, and it ate away at, you know, at his face. And so Evil Lin, one of his subordinates, one of Skeletor's subordinates, uh, went to the altar of Hordak and Hordak basically was like, yeah, I'll save you, but you know You're, you're not gonna like it. Oh, I went the wrong way that one. I went the wrong way with that one. There we go Oops, oh on the ground. Oh, no, I need a five. I need a five one. That's that was a problem. There we go He basically saved Randor, but you know it took away all the soft tissue from his face and that's how Skeletor came to have a skeleton face Fun stuff, right? That's about all I really have to say about Skeletor. Thought that was gonna take longer, but you know, there's not a whole lot to it. Like I said, for the most part, for the most of the Masters of the Universe history, there uh, there hasn't really been a whole lot of lore because I mean, it was bas it was a commercial in the 80s to sell toys. They didn't really put a lot of thought into it back back then. It was mostly episodic stories. There, nothing really affected anything else. So this goes back here. These go on each side. This one goes like, oops, not on camera, this. This one goes like this. And this one goes on the front, but like here. Ha ha, ha ha, look at that. We're doing something, I don't really know what we're doing but something's happening here. I loved Master of the Universe growing up. It was, it's it's, uh, it's super nostalgic. It was a little before my time, like I was super young. I remember being into it, but I don't remember much about it. I mean, it came out in 1984. I was born in 1982, so. I mean, Transformers did too, but Transformers lasted a lot longer. He-Man, Transformers, G.I. Joe, those all kind of happened at the same time as a small child, but you know. Uh, and I, it's like at the edge of my memory. Like I, I mostly remember those things from my young, I, I remember I had the toys for a long time, but they're, they're definitely my youngest memories. I was definitely a, a small, small child. But Transformers, I would say, Transformers and G.I. Joe both lasted a long time. They lasted a lot longer than He-Man did. Uh, and He-Man, I would say, probably got replaced by Ninja Turtles as far as, you know, things that I like. But Transformers kind of stuck around for a while. So did G.I. Joe. Uh, G.I. Joe actually kind of evolved into like a, a new kind of, it's like the new class or whatever. Uh, it had like uh, Gridiron was like the, the leader of the G.I. Joes and they, and I remember he was like a football guy. Like he had like football grenades and stuff. I can't be the only person that remembers that stuff. I'm guessing this is Skeletor's head. I think that's his nose. This little thing right here looks like, so we need Okay, get out, get out of there, get out. There you go. So from this, I need to take this little piece and this piece, I think that goes around. Oh, there we go. There we are. Let me take this and put that in there. I think that is his eye. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make both of them. 
just gonna make both of them. Let's put that in there. Let's put this on here. Okay. So this goes like that. This one goes like that. Okay, that's much better. I think I got that. Okay, now I get two of these flat pieces right here. We take this, we put this here, we put that there, then this goes here, and this goes here. Yep, we definitely have a face going on. That's always fun. And we need a little onesie. One of these yellow, are these yellow? Hold on. I have an app on my phone that can tell me what color things are. Bold yellow. I'm gonna be using that a lot more from now on. So, you know, we don't have a, another situation where I guess the wrong color. That one goes, oop, get on there without popping off. There it goes, okay. This goes there. It's starting to form up. Next page. We get this, put one of these. Oh, Mega Blocks. The, the not Lego Lego. It's hard not to see the Mega Blocks. It's just like a, a Lego reject. Like not as cool as Lego. Although, I actually like their little people more than I like Lego's little people. Okay, so this, this goes right there in the middle. Oops, things are falling off, I hope. Okay, like that. We need some weird pieces here. So these go there and there. There we go. We need some more flat one pieces, two of those to be exact. We need three, three by ones. We need two five by ones. I also need that piece that I had in my hand and then put away. Let's see, right, right here, this one. So this goes in the back like that. And then a three by one goes in front of that. Let's go all the way to the front. There we go. And then these long pieces. Here and there, okay. And then these pieces go at the front. Okay, that, that, and then that, and that. There we go. We're coming along. Okay, I need three of these little guys. One, two, and three. I need four of the longer ones. And then I need one of these. And then I need one of these. Okay. Looks like we go like this. Oops. Come on. Get on there. Then we go that there. That there, and then one of these little pieces here. Okay, other side. There, there, and there. Okay, this goes on the top right here, and we've now just built the top of his head. That's actually looking pretty good. Fun, we got some fun pieces. We need two of these little guys. So this part goes right here. Oops, I'm doing it off camera. 
This little one goes here and then plugs into the side here. And I'll do this one on camera so you can see it. This one goes inside that there and then just makes it so it sticks on the side. Right there, there we go. Look good, I guess. Next we need these little guys, three of them. Need one of these, need one of these, need one of these, and I need this long one right here. So what it wants us to do is take this and put this on it, and we're actually going to flip this upside down. Ooh, so this part goes inside there. Cool, guess that forms the head like Voltron. This goes here and here. Okay, and then we've got some teeth. That's what it looks like here. Round, flat teeth, just like every skeleton has. And then that goes right there. Woohoo! Look at that. I like the way that these don't line up exactly right, so it looks like eyebrows. I like that that's backwards, which gives them the nose. This definitely looks pretty cool. I like this. This definitely is good. Okay, so the head's done. That's fun. Guess we start on the body now. I don't know what this is. Notice that's a K. I don't know if that stands for Keldor or Whatever these are, are they Kubros? I think it's Kubros because it's the same kind of thing. Either way, it's fine. So we take this. Take this and go. Like this. Go like this. And we go like that. Cool. Okay, next we need two of these. Ooh, okay, so we take this, we put that like that. Do the same thing there, okay. Take this, put this here, and then that, and Oops, ooh, did it wrong. <laughs> All right, that goes there, there we go. So like that. Now we take this piece, so we take this, and then that. Top like that. Let's give it a nice smooth top. This goes back here like that. So this goes there, there, and there. And then that goes right. There. Looks like we got his body, which is fun. Oh, oh, I have a little advertisement here. The the He Man just looks kind. He looks weird. I mean, he looks. I wouldn't have hated getting him, but he looks. He looks weird. I'm kind of glad I got what I got. Okay. So this goes here. Oops. Oops. All right. Yeah, that's right. And then this goes. Like that. Okay. Oh, no. Nope, I got that wrong. It goes like that. That's weird, but that's how it goes. One of these, it looks like. And then four of these. 
Okay, so we take... Oh. Okay. So we take two of these, and we put these like this. Okay. Like that. And then we'll do the same on the other end, just to kind of form them together. Oops. Try it this way. There we go. Okay. That's that. Oops. It's not going in right. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now, take this and these go in on each other, like this, and then it goes like this. Okay. So it's like that. Okay, and this goes, oops. Like that. We're getting this body done. I think. So we take this long one. We put this right there. This one. Oh. That goes there. And then this. Good thing that's a foot. And then we do the same thing again. Or maybe not. Because this next one's a little weirder. Okay. So on this one, both of these go together. This one goes like that. And then this one goes like that. Okay. Now I got these little parts. Yeah, they are feet. It's just weird that they don't get built the same way. Okay. All right. There we go. Feet. Now it looks like we're building like a cape. Okay, so we lay these all flat like this. This is gonna go, oh, let's just do this like this, okay. So this is gonna go like that, 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 and then this one down here goes like that. And then this goes on the back like that. Yeah, and then this goes on the back like that. So he does have a cape. Okay, so we take this. That goes on the bottom like that. Okay, and on this one. That, 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 oh, come on, there it goes, and then that, okay, so now, like that? Yeah, I guess so. And then... These go like this. And then... This goes like that, really? Interesting. That's a hand, that's a weird hand. Okay, so we take this, this weird one right here. Okay, 
This one. This one. This one. That one. That one. And then. That one. Then this. And the same thing again here. goes in there this one goes in here and I can see that being a problem right there that is a weak spot on the figure all these are weak spots on the figure <laughs> there we go oh wait how are these supposed to go I put these in wrong There we go. There we go. Okay. And now we do the Havoc Staff. So, we need two of these little guys. One of those. One of these. And one of these. So, we take this. Like this. We take this. Like this. Okay, let me take this, like this, so that's that, and this goes like that, this one goes like that, okay, and this goes in there, that goes in there, oops. That is super loose. And then we take this, and then that goes, oops, on top there. And then this goes up here. Ooh. If you can get it on without everything falling apart. Oh, come on. I think this goes back here. I'm going to bet. And then this slides right inside there. Wow, this stuff does not want to stay on. Come on, really? I know I've got like big sausage fingers and like brute strength, but like I'm not. It shouldn't be this hard to stay on. Okay. This right here was a problem. Like this is not a good connection for them to use, especially on something that moves. Okay, now it looks like there's a couple pieces left over here. Did they get used? Yes, well, what some of them do. This goes in here and then this goes in here and wow this thing is falling apart wow okay okay <laughs> good enough real time this took me about an hour to build not not bad considering like you know what it is and all little pieces it's fun don't get me wrong it's definitely a fun build but it's definitely frustrating with the way they have it constructed it's super fragile it will come apart like the arm just fell off you know, when I picked it up. 
it, there's a lot of poorly planned out joints here. They're not good. So this will probably sit on my shelf and hopefully I'll never have to touch it ever again. And it'll, it'll just sit there before maybe falling apart from just regular plastic degradation. <laughs> I don't know. It's a cool idea. Definitely, I would say a weak execution. I mean, it looks like he's supposed to. I get it. He looks like Skeletor. But it's just super... I wonder if all of them are this fragile or if it's just this. Like, I definitely would never play with this because it's just going to fall apart. And it's more frustrating than it is anything else. This is my Mega Block Skeletor that they came out with like by itself. These are the Mega Blocks, like the little figures. They're a lot more detailed than the, like the Lego people. I know Lego people have their own aesthetic and that's kind of the, the appeal of Lego people. But this has like articulation, like knee articulation, elbow articulation, hand swivel. Like this is actually a pretty neat little little figure. Lots of great detail. I really like it. It's definitely worth the five bucks picking that little guy up. I also have the 2012 Skeletor, or sorry, not 2012, 2002 He-Man Skeletor. And then I also got the uh, classic Skeletor here. This is actually the Super 7 Ultimate Skeletor. And I, I definitely plan on, I planned on reviewing that when I got it and then I just never got around to it. I, I might still at some point, I definitely want to. But uh, that's, that's my Skeletor collection right now. Not a lot, but you know, not nothing, right? Not nothing. Definitely uh, let me know what you thought. Does this make the Geek Fuel box that it came in worse or better? I don't know, it probably doesn't really change my score. It's still a cool thing that I got in there. Uh, it was definitely a fun hour that I spent building this. Like it was, it was fine. Uh, I do wish it was a little more stable, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. It doesn't affect my overall score. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far. Like, share, subscribe. If you are already a subscriber and you're watching this, thanks so much. And I'll see you later. Bye.